Well, Chief, uh, we were in town and we kind of got into a fight. But I swear, it wasn't our fault. Right, Kowalski? I swear it wasn't our fault, Chief. I swear it wasn't our fault. Well, who was fighting? Well, we decided to drop into this new club and we were talking to this girl. I swear we were just talking. Right, Kowalski? I swear we were just talking. But what happened? Well, this girl's boyfriend comes over and starts swinging. One guy did this to both of you? Who was he, Bigfoot? <laughs> I'll teach you dummies a lesson. Never to fool around with another guy's broad. Now, where were you guys anyway? Uh, maybe we shouldn't have gone there to begin with. It's a place called The Pits. It's a punk rock club. The what? The Pits. A place where they play punk rock music. It's a new thing in music. You ever hear groups like uh, The Fingers, The Veins, The Skulls? <laughs> what do they do? Play background music during a heart transplant? <laughs> you guys to stay out of those joints you got me i swear it wasn't our i fault. swear it wasn't our all right fault. shut up i don't want to discuss it anymore now go get cleaned up hey uh skunk kowalski tell us about this punk rock place what's it called the pits what made you guys go into a joint like that anyway i don't know there's something that fascinates me about all that violence decadence and brutality <laughs> <laughs> and besides i had to go to the bathroom <laughs> Wow, that place sounds like a real trip. That place sounds like my own neighborhood. <laughs> hey, listen, why don't we go to this place and check it out, huh? Hey, all hey, right. Now, look, hey, 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 what are you guys well? doing? Didn't you just hear the chief? Oh, come on, Pruitt. We're just going to have a little fun, hey. check out the freaks. <laughs> and if anyone starts anything, I swear it won't be us. Right, Kowals? I swear it won't be us. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Hey, Shark! You going out? Yeah, Robinson. Natalie and I are going to see that new Swedish movie, Sex on a Smorgasbord. <laughs> you take Natalie to see those kind of movies? Yeah, it's like Monday Night Football, only we get to do the instant replay. <laughs> Nice. I like to see older people trying to keep up with the young folks. Cute, Robinson, cute. <laughs> Listen, speaking of keeping up, yeah? uh, what is this about this punk rock? Why, are you in the punk rock? No, you see, my guys went into a place called the Pits, and I was wondering what it's about. Well, it's a new thing in music. It's a bunch of kids rebelling against rules, authority, and styles. You know, they're against everything. What, are they commies? <laughs> no, they wear crazy clothes and makeup. I read where some of the girls hang things like razor blades from their earrings. No kidding. Hey, a guy could whisper in a broad's ear and wind up with a nose job. <laughs> that sounds wild. I guess they are. I better tell the guys it's off limits. All right. But where are the men? They were just here. Well, Chief, I don't know if I should tell you this because it'd sort of be like a betrayal of confidence. But then again, they didn't tell me not to say anything. But then again, what a guy does when he's off duty is his own business. Well, still again, there's one more point. And... Pruitt, how would you like it if I suck up your shoes and make your body shrink? <laughs> now, where'd the men go? Okay, Chief, here it is. They went right back to that place called the pits where Skolnick and Kowalski got beat up. Oh, they're asking for trouble. Well, Chief, it'd be a good idea to go down there and get them out of there. Yeah, I think so. And I'll go down with you for protection. And if anyone gets near you, I'm going to do just like I did on a basketball court. Defense! 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 Get away, dummy.
<laughs> guys, here comes that girl. What girl? The one we got in the fight over. Oh. Hi, guys. I didn't think I'd be seeing you again. Well, I told my friends about this place and they got interested. Guys, this is Quinine. Hey, uh, Quinine, how are you? Uh, hey, uh, Quinine, I hope your boyfriend understands. No trouble, huh? Is he around? No, I think he went to get his nose pierced. He wants to put a pearl in it. Mm. You make a run here a lot? Oh, I work here. You see all the writing on the walls? I put it there. I am vice president in charge of graffiti. Mm. So tell me something. What made you guys join the Navy? Man, one day somebody opened the front door of my house and yelled, Immigration! I started running, and this is where I ended up. <laughs> For me, it was a choice between the Navy or sharing a condominium with my mother in Miami. anymore. You understand that? Besides, this building's gonna be condemned. I can feel fungus crawling up my leg. <laughs> All right, now get out of here. Right, right Chief. Right, Chief. Come on. Put him on his keys. Hey, that was really so seen. Yeah, yeah, bye-bye. Oh, I like your style. Really ragged. You're really in charge, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, wait, don't go. I want to know more about you. Oh, look at all those different color ribbons. Are they from the Navy? No, they're from Baskin Robbins. 31 flavors. <laughs> I'll see you. Hey, you're tough. I bet nobody can push you around. That's right, honey. Oh, another sailor. Hey, what are you starting, a collection? That is none of your business. Hey, didn't I warn you about messing around with other dudes? Look, I have had it with you pushing me around. Now go pluck your eyebrows. I'm going home with him. Oh, no, 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 huh? hey, no. Hey, punks. No. Come on. Huh? Oh, no, hey, wait a minute. You're in for big trouble. Big trouble. No, so big trouble. You're asking for it. Show up. Big trouble. I thought we could grab some chow. No, thanks. I went to the dentist. I had to have a filling put back in. Yeah? What happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I went to this punk rock place to get my guys out. And a fight started. No kidding. Yeah. And on top of everything else, I lost my wallet with my credit cards, my money, and a picture of Natalie. The one she had taken just after she had her front teeth capped. I don't understand this. Where were your guys? Uh, they were gone. I was leaving too. And then this girl grabbed me. Sir, you gotta stay out of places like that. Or you're gonna wind up jacked up in some alley stripped down to your skivvies with the cats looking at you, brother. <laughs> Very funny, Robinson. Very funny. Listen, I'm gonna go grab a bike. You want me to bring you something back? Yeah, get me a milkshake. And hurry it up before I gum myself. <laughs> hey, how'd you get in here? How'd you get on the base? something for you. What, a gift wrap box of hepatitis? <laughs> How did you find me? I got your address out of your wallet. 
My wallet? You found my wallet? Yeah, I found it on the floor. Look, I'm really sorry about the mess you got into last night. It was all my fault. So I thought the least I could do was bring you your wallet. Hey, yeah. Thanks a million. And everything's all here. Yeah, well, stealing's not my scene. And besides, you're a nice guy and I dig you. You're very nice, too. I'll tell you what, I'd like to give you a reward. Uh, do you have chains of five? <laughs> Money. Tell me something. What's a decent kid like you hanging around a weirdo joint like that? Well, because I'm into punk, conceptual art. Pardon me? You know, pogo. Pardon me? New wave. Pardon me? You know something, you're sweet, but out of it. Hey, listen, why don't you take a few dollars so you can get on home, huh? Oh, well, I don't have a home. I split. You don't have a home, then where are you staying? Well, I was hanging out with Slash, you know, the guy that started all the trouble last night, but I've had it with him. He's so immature, and besides, he keeps stealing all my makeup and pantyhose. Do you have a family? Does your mother know where you are? No, but she's always looking for me. She keeps putting ads in the personal columns in the newspaper. You want to see some? Melissa, come home. All is forgiven. Melissa, the dentist is ready to set your braces. Mm. Melissa? Yeah, that's my real name, but I hate it. Hey, don't you think you ought to call your mother? She must be worried about you. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. But I know what I'd like to do. What? Stay here with you. What? Yeah, maybe we can pogo and see what happens. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no pogo, no pogo. I'm a man in my mid-40s. There's no pogo. <laughs> well, what, what, what are you, about 20, 21? 17. Oh, I never touched you. <laughs> No, no trouble. Well, I'm going to be 18 in a couple of days. Oh, that's trouble. No way. No, don't come at me. Don't touch me. Well, will you at least talk to me some more? Oh, all right, but, but not here. Well, talk, and then maybe we can pogo. Oh, no, no pogo. Pogo, no. No, no, no pogo. No pogo. Well, where will you meet me? Oh, uh, uh, well, well, we'll meet where we met last night. Great, I'll meet you at the pits. Oh, okay, you go. Go, go, go. You go. Deal. Bye, pogo, pal. <laughs> Here's your milkshake, Big Daddy. <laughs> Very funny, Robinson. I knew you wouldn't understand. That's the girl I got in a fight over last night. Her name is Quinine. Quinine? How old is she anyway? Uh, she's 18. She's one of those runaway kids, and I'm gonna help her. How are you gonna help her? You gonna put her through nursery school? <laughs> Very funny, Robinson. I'm gonna get her together with her mother. They say sometimes a third person can clear the air. Yeah, and you're great at that, aren't you? That's right. I'll examine the situation and find out why she lives the way she does and why she has a crush on me. If she has a crush on you, why don't you just have a head exam? <laughs> Again, funny, Robinson. Why don't you go to the old folks' home and unscrew bolts on the wheelchairs? <laughs> now, you want to go with me tonight? Of course. I missed the Hindenburg disaster. I don't want to miss this. <laughs> 18 years. You have a reservation? Yeah. I made the reservation under the name of Sork, Dr. Jonas Sork. <laughs> right this way, Jonas. <laughs> Will you be having dinner? Dinner here? I don't think I'll ever get that hungry. Chief, I didn't think you were going to make it. You are an okay guy, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is my friend, Chief Robinson. Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Oh, my friend Slash has something to say to you. Hey, Slash! Oh, no, wait a minute. I, I don't want to talk to him. I, I just want to see you. I don't want to talk to him. Oh, Slash isn't going to make any trouble. He just wants to say something to you. Go ahead, Slash. Yeah, okay, it's like this. Uh, I want you to know I'm sorry about the fight last night, and I'm giving her up. She's all yours. What? No, it's okay. I'm already involved in another relationship. And it's something different, you know? So, uh, stay ragged. Come on, sucker. <laughs> they seem to make a nice couple. Oh, darn it. I just remembered. He's got all my pantyhose. Hey, Slash! Mrs. Stanley, Melissa's mother. We 
Which one of you is Mr. Sharkey? Uh, I am, Mrs. Stanley. Oh. I'm Chief Sharkey, and this is my friend, Chief Robinson. Uh, How are you doing? Uh, uh, have a seat. Uh, uh, uh. Nice to meet you. Mr. Sharkey, uh, you know where I can find my daughter. Am I going to find her here? Yes, ma'am. Your daughter works here. Here? Why couldn't she work in some nice, clean place like Jack in the Box? <laughs> oh, where have I failed? Do you either one of you have children? No. Don't. <laughs> children are crazy. My daughter left a brand new mobile home to come to this. This is Stanley. Once in a while, the kids today, they get off the track. You know, something crazy happens. You're a wise man. A very wise man. Isn't he a wise man? Sharky? Yeah, he's got all the answers. It's so unusual to meet someone who cares about strangers. Isn't he unusual? There's not many like him. <laughs> Mrs. Stanley, you better brace yourself. Here comes your daughter. Oh. Hope I didn't keep you waiting, Chief. Melissa! Is that you? Mom, what are you doing here? Oh, Melissa. Just look at you. <laughs> the hours I spent at Orbex choosing the right outfits. <laughs> Mom, please. How did you find me anyhow? Well, this dear, unselfish man made it all possible. Why'd you do that? Your mother was worried. Isn't he wonderful? Oh, he sure is, Mom, and I'm glad you think so. He's the kind of man I've always wanted. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> what? what? What are you saying? He's special. He's the only man who's ever reached me. Mama, this is the man I love. Don't say that. <laughs> so that's your game. I can't believe it. You wanted to get on the right side of me and get my approval so I wouldn't turn you over to the police. Oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> Isn't he disgusting? But, Mrs. Stanley, you don't understand. I know what's going on, and it's not going to work. There are laws against this kind of thing, you know. I'm going to report you. I'm going to make a public announcement about this. can't go home. We don't agree on anything. But I'll go with you. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I said I go with you. Okay, let's go. Chuck, what are you doing? She wants to go with me, so I'm going to take her. You're disgusting! <laughs> Come in. Oh, Mrs. Stanley. Mr. Sharkey, I just want you to know why I'm here. You know where I'm going? I'm going to see your commanding officer and tell him what kind of a man he's put in charge of young, impressionable boys. Oh, no, Mrs. Stanley, don't worry. There's no problem. I spent the morning with your daughter. No, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> Mrs. Stanley, no, you don't understand. Wait, I'll, I'll explain everything. I have a surprise for you. Don't go away, okay? Just stay right there. Don't go away. <laughs> A man in the United States Navy. Disgusting. <laughs> Mrs. Stanley, say hello to your daughter. Uh, uh, hi, Mom. Melissa. <laughs> oh, come on, Mom, don't do that. <laughs> I haven't seen you look so beautiful since you were in the brownies. <laughs> Well, listen, Mom, I just came in to say hi. I've got to go to an orientation lecture, okay? <laughs> Bye, Mom. <laughs> I'm so proud. Oh, Mr. Sharkey. How oh, I misjudged you. Ah, forget it. No, no, no. You're a beautiful man. I feel just terrible about all those things I said. It's all right, Mrs. Stanley. I should have known that a beautiful man like you would realize you're too old for my daughter. Uh, of course. But you know what, Mr. Sharkey? You're not too old for me. <laughs> huh? 
matter of fact, you remind me of my late husband, Alan. Oh, wait a minute, Mrs. Stanley. <laughs> he left me some money. Not a lot, but enough to move the trailer to Laguna. <laughs> Mr. Sharky. Oh, no, Mr. Stanley. I never oh, no. I out with anyone in the circus. Oh, no, Mr. Stanley. Oh, no. Come in. Hi, Chief. Oh, hi, Melissa. How do you like the Navy so far? Oh, it's really in and out. Pardon me? It's suavo. Pardon me? It's in between the buttons. Is that good? Or bad? Oh, it's cool. I dig it. I mean, look at these off-the-wall clothes, and I have you to thank for it. I'm glad. But there's one thing I'm really sorry about, that you and I never did get to Pogo. Oh, no. No Pogo. No Pogo, Melissa. <laughs> but everybody's doing it, and it's really easy. You know when you go swimming and you get water in your ear and you jump up and down to shake it out? That's all there is to it. Look. See? That's more like somebody who has water on the brain. <laughs> I gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay. Good luck, Melissa. <laughs> hey, 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 what's the matter with you? Didn't you ever see a guy trying to get water out of his ear? <laughs> Leo Sayre hosts the mid tomorrow night. Steve King Tut Martin hosts NBC's Saturday Night Live with guests the Blues Brothers and the Not Ready for Primetime Players. Tomorrow night at 11.30, 10.30 Central on NBC. Stay tuned now for the Rockford Files next. <laughs>